Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the tutorial. And um, one of the things I did want to mention is that I hate the default location where Python 3.5 installs. Um, normally, it always just uh, you know gives me a clear cut path of where I want to put it, or usually I put it right on the C drive. Um, but you guys saw in the previous video, I mean that thing was buried in like C users, friggin' my username, app data, blah blah blah, it went on forever. So. I ended up um, just removing it real quick and then reinstalling it. So now you can see I have Python 27, 34, and 35 right under my C drive, which is where right where I want it. Um, so anyway, you guys can do that if you want. I'm not sure why it, it installs it under the users like that. I, I really hate that, to be honest with you. Um, and another thing, too, is that I, did, I went ahead and I made the change so that when I type Python, um, you can see that it's finding the 3.5. Like, I don't have it. I don't have to type Python 35 anymore because I feel like that's just going to confuse people that come along um, and try to follow along here. Um, so anyway, that being said, guys, um, we're able to move forward. So let's pull up our Atom editor. Uh, in the previous um, video, we did our Hello World, which is the typical introduction to any sort of programming um, language. So now that we have that out of the way, we need to go ahead and just explain a few things. Um, Python has some special words that they refer to as keywords, which mean that um, you cannot use those keywords for uh, any sort of naming convention. And when I say naming convention, whenever you're programming, you're going to create things called variables, which is really just a uh, reference to an object and, and it stores some sort of value. Uh, and the value can vary. Um, so it can be a number, it could be a set of characters like um, letters, or it could be uh, entire web pages. Uh, or entire stacks of web pages upon web pages, thousands, millions of them. All those are going to be um, considered variables in the Python programming language. And when you name those variables, you cannot use these special names, or at least it's a highly advisable, uh, or highly advised that you do not do that. Um, so Python has a bunch of um, names that you're not supposed to use, and I'll just give you guys this. Uh, little example right here. These are all special keyword names that you should not override. Um, they say built-in functions. What, what that means is that they ship with the Python language. So um, every one of these functions does something. Um, and they sometimes do a lot of different things. Um, but in this case, um, they're all special. And you should never name um, any sort of variable after them. So anyway. Uh, and I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but the print is in there. So here's print, which is just a function. Now, keep in mind, everything in Python is an object. So I represented the object as this circle here. So print um, is an object, and it has um, certain things that it can accept in it, which are called parameters. And what those parameters are is the actual thing that you want to print. So it could be a, a, a number, uh, or it could be like a, um, what's considered a string, which is just a, a set of characters like hello world, like we did in the example. So hopefully I didn't say that too stupidly. But anyway, pr print is part of the Python built-in library. So you just have to know that it's there. It's provided to you by Python. And inside of the parentheses, um, is what it is that you want to print. So it can actually be uh, an in integer, which is 1. So you can see um, I did not have to use these double quotes. I could also use single quotes, and it's the same thing. Anything in a double quote or a single quote within Python is considered a string. It's a stupid, weird name, but all programming languages call it that. So this is no longer an integer. This is a string because of the double quotes, and you can see that the um, syntax highlighting differentiates strings by showing them as green and it's showing integers as orange. So you can see that this is now an integer in orange. So let's run our little program here. And we'll say Python now first program dot py. And you'll see that it printed out in the same exact way, but <clears throat> the difference between it though is that print can print out integers or it can print out strings and it did it in the exact same way so the bottom line is that print takes into um, takes in something in order to 
to print it out. So print is considered a function that has an argument. And the argument is another stupid word that you're just going to have to get used to in programming, which means what am I passing to print and what should print do with it? Well, print, all it does is actually just print whatever it is out to the screen. So it doesn't really do anything more than that. It's one of the more simplistic uh, built-in functions in the, the Python library. Um, so the thing that you pass to uh, any sort of function in Python, um, which is inside of those parentheses, is going to be called an argument. So try to remember that this is a string argument. So anyway, guys, um, that is considered an argument. Try to um, you know remember that because you're going to hear that a lot. Now, we're not going to look at all the different types that Python has, um, but we have, we've already seen two. We've seen the string, which, like I said, is that dumb name for a series of characters. Um, and a string, just so you know, it can be a single sentence. It can be a single letter. It can be a, a, an a, integer you know, spelled out, um, or it could be an entire web source code. Um, so it can be an entire novel or it can be a single letter. Um, so strings are very, very flexible in that regard. And they're very important because pretty much everything, um, a lot of a lot of things that you're going to do in any sort of Python or programming or any really any language for that matter, um, you're going to be dealing with a lot of strings. That's how you write files, that's how you read files, and that's all string related. Um, now, you're going to also deal with a lot of integers. You're going to have to do some sort of mathematical calculations if you're doing game programming or if you're trying to do any sort of financial analysis or um, you know, biotechnology or whatever it may be that you're trying to do. Um, and Python has the ability to just simply uh, print 8 times 8, which uh, we know that the answer should be 64. So when we run our program, you'll see that it, it's 64. Now, that did a mathematical calculation. So... Um, what you'll see, um, and just like any sort of mathematical calculation, the star symbol means multiply, uh, divide means, uh, you know, this forward slash. And then you obviously can have 8 minus 8, which is 0, and then... 8 plus 8. So that's how you do all the different uh, math mathematical calculations. Keep in mind um, when we talk about values here that they are different from one another. So you cannot say 8 plus 8 plus this is a string. This is where we're going to get our first what's called an exception um, or an error uh, either way um, it's it's an exception meaning something went wrong and Python has built in uh, error handling to give you an idea on what happened it said unsupported operand type for plus int and string so those are the two things that I was telling you about those are called value types so when we had the value in green it was a string and Python has an abbreviation for that called str and then there's also the int and it's saying hey I can't add an int and a string I don't know what that is so the problem is here is that if you wanted this to be one single line uh, you would have to do a workaround which this is kinda of jumping ahead here but I could say turn this to a string so I'm ta taking both of these integers and now they're they're actually string types and not integers. So Python does that on the fly when the program is built, and this will now compile and run, and it takes it all into one big string. So this is all just one printed out string now. Those are no longer integers. The term for doing that, and this is something that you don't have to rem remember right now, but what we're doing is we're actually casting a value type uh, of a integer to a string, but anytime you turn um, an object's value to a different type, meaning you know an int to a string or a string to an int, that is called casting, and and that's how you do it there. So that's kind of jumping ahead a little bit as far as um, 
you know how to how to accomplish certain goals but that's fine I feel like it's pretty relevant so let's jump into the next subject then which is really going to be variables variables like I said they can be entire novels they can be a single letter they can be an integer they can be a string there's no limit to what they can be and the value is never set in stone it can be changed so to create a, a variable in Python it's easier than any other language out there at least that I've ever seen and all you simply have to do is just give your variable a name so X is a name for a variable it's a horrible name by the way because nobody knows what X does so now if X equaled X um, then that would be a pretty good indication that X equals X but X is a what's considered a horrible variable name because your variable name should be descriptive and this is not descriptive at all so I mean nobody's gonna know that that value or variable X has the value of X they just don't know but that is how you actually create a variable so we just created the variable X and we assigned it the value X which is a string so X variable is now a string type and it has a value of X so let's change this value and we'll say this is a crappy name for a variable so it's still of string type and it has a value of this is a crappy name for a variable if I wanted to ever find out what type a, um, a variable is I could simply say print and then inside parentheses I'll say type and then inside another set of parentheses I give it the argument so my argument is the X variable so this is actually interesting because we have one function which is the print function which takes an argument of another function that it that takes an argument of the actual variable a string type variable that has this value so you really have to just try this on your own um, so you can understand it, it it's simple enough um, once you actually see it a few times but it, it is a little bit confusing if this is the first time you've ever started programming so let's go ahead and run this program right now and all we did was we said hey I want you to pr print the type of whatever X is and you'll see that Python saying hey it's of type string now what if I wanted to try to turn X to an int I could simply say um, I could even cast it right here I could say type and then int and then another set of parentheses and I'm actually casting it to an int now this isn't gonna work because this value can never be an int it's not a valid number it's not a valid integer so we run that you can see it's not base 10 it means dude that's that's a friggin like sentence it's never gonna be an integer I mean this this is math we're talking about this isn't some craziness but what if I took this and I turned it to a 1 or a 21 I just mistyped that but 21 will work and that is a string value of 21 but that can be safely casted over to an integer so when we run the program you can see that it is now of type int so that's why I need to pound it into you guys' head that everything in Python is an object and objects have uh, functions and the functions take arguments and then they they pass back values and everything every um, value in Python has a type and the only two types we've looked at so far is either integer or string and that's all I want to get into uh, in this video because honestly um, it might seem like such a minor thing but you really need to understand the difference between functions what a function argument is and then what a variable is and the fact that a variable can have a value which is in this case 21 which is a string value uh, uh, so it's of type string so anyway those are really just you know five uh, special keywords along with um, you know the actual function name which is a built-in type um, or I'm sorry a built-in function that comes with the Python language to make your programming endeavors much easier um,
hopefully I did a decent enough job of just, you know, kind of glossing over uh, the fact that, like I said, uh, Python has functions, they take arguments, variables have types, and they also have values. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and um, please subscribe, and I'll get into some more stuff in the next video. Thank you. Bye.